So we were discussing before Yeshai um, Rosenzweig and his journey back to Judaism. And in your book, um, you talk about there's a distinction between someone who is Jose B'tshuva and a, uh, the movement today, which is the Baal Tshuva movement. Um, and uh, one of the things you distinguish there, I want to I wanna let you say it, but just to help you begin the conversation, um, is uh, you say the, the movement today of Bali Tshuva, a lot of them um, are coming back to you know, Jewish language and Jewish clothes and, and uh, Sidur and Halakha, which you call the Misamen, but uh, they are not filling it with anything um, alive and, 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 and relevant to them. Um, they're enslaved almost uh, to the Mesamen, but they, whereas Rosenzweig, uh, he thinks that the Jose Bechuva, uh is someone who is coming back and being dedicated the rest of his life uh, to the Mesamen, to this Jewish language and, and Sidur and Halakha, and that's the the symbols, the Jewish words, but he does want to fill it with meaning, and there's infinite meaning he could fill it with. So maybe you could talk a little bit in your own words. You can disagree with the way I, d- mm-hmm. I discussed it. Um, I'm happy with that. You are the author, after all. Um, and maybe just talk a little bit about why that distinction was important for you to make between uh, the way Rosenzweig did tshuva and the way you see mm-hmm. people today doing tshuva and why you think Rosenzweig tshuva is, is a very different type of tshuva. Rosenzweig? is for sure how I say it in Hebrew Teoritikan Shel Tshuva It's also because he's a Baal Tshuva He's and Rosenzweig always deals all of his thought even though it doesn't seem like that when you read the Kochav HaGeula and when you read the Zigrot you cannot it's sometimes you can uh, uh, you won't see that it's an analysis of his existential being in the world. And he's a tshuva, and he does an analysis to his tshuva. And it's very, very broad. So I'm not saying what you said is wrong, and I'm not saying that what you said I didn't write, but I want to give another perspective and then to get to your perspective. Rosenzweig understands also I will give I will give maybe another uh, 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 musag that I deal with it in the book that is called pateologia. Pateologia, the pathology of the theological tradition. Each theological tradition has its pathology. Christianity is involved with uh, narcissism and dogmatizat and, dog, and uh, dog, dogma. dogma. Ma- Islam is always involved in fundamentalism and Judaism is always involved in autism. There's no Jewish life without autism and there's no Islamic life without fundamentalism and there's no Christian Protestant life without Narxism and no Catholic life without dogmati- uh, dogmati- dogmatism Kviut The pathologia of the dogma is Kviut Ikabut Yeah, Ikabut I'm not saying here Look on the Christians, they're like that and like that. Look on the Muslims, they're like that. And the Judaism, no. I'm saying every uh, 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 um, theological tradition has its pathology that, that is involved within it and it's built, and it, it's built uh, around that pathology. Pathology, pathology, um, pateologia now I was influenced also by Rosenzweig with that that Rosenzweig understands that returning 
or remaining Jew is remaining in the pateologia of that Jewish moment. Remaining Jew, a Jew, is remaining in a name that also can bring me to collapse, bring me modern Rosenzweig, German philosopher, total German culture to collapse. Returning Lachzol El Yadut to Judaism is returning to something that will be there as a contradiction to my subjective modern German notion of life. The Chozer B'Tshuvaf, as in our times, is that one that erases his non-Jewish identity. But where Rosenzweig teaches us that he's right, that what the Judaism wants him to do. Because to be a Jew is to be an artist, to be an artist, Sgirut, Rosenzweig says in Kochava Geula, Hayudi Chayav Laatot Al Atzmo. The Jew has to put himself a, a barrier from the world. He has to be a, a, a alien to the world, not to understand the world. That's to be a Jew. To be alien to your other life your modern Western culture, your modern Western history, to be a Chozer B'Tshuva is to fall in that pathology of autism. And again, that's what's beautiful in Rosenzweig. He doesn't say to you, and he's mistaken, that Chozer B'Tshuva. That's what really the, the Jewish signifier wants you to do. But Rosenzweig wants to offer a different way of tshuva that we learn from Yaakov Avinu. Yaakov Katan versus Israel. There's Yaakov Akatan, that's the Baal Tshuva, as we, the one that doesn't uh, uh, try to nevak, Sarita is to fight with. Fight is not the right, nevak is confront, confront. Battle. battle, that's not struggle. struggle. That's the right world. To struggle with the theological uh, uh, um, um, notions, structures more, that he's that are embedded into him. While Israel, ki sarita im Elohim v'anashim, Elohim, yeshomim ki se'akavod, Elohim is the theological structures of your, uh, uh, of your uh, uh, tradition. And what Rosenzweig offers is a Baal Tshuva that is in a struggle. He whispers to you and tells you, I know what will be the end of the struggle. You won't win. What will win, win is the Torah. But the question is if you will be called Yaakov Katan or Israel. The Baal Tshuva that Rosenzweig wants to build up is the Baal Tshuva that is struggling with the pathology of the of the the the, the, the Masoret.
that he's dealing with. And you think that? Again, one minute. One of the ways to struggle is the way to fulfill your, the, the Jewish life, the Jewish letters, the Jewish words with meaning. To read them, to read into them meaning. That's one of the ways. Not the only way. More than that, one of the ways to struggle is understanding that those words, those letters, demand you for meaning. You cannot be a, 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 a dish to them. Pathetic. You cannot be pathetic to them. Apathetic. Different. But yeah, what did you want to ask? Well, I just wanted to just clarify because I felt like it was a powerful critique in the book of, you know, you do live in a time period where a lot of people are doing tshuva. In Rosenzweig's time, it was rare. And they called him a fanatic. Um, but today, you know, there's many, many yeshivot and midrashot. That their main focus is this project called getting people from secular identity to Jewish identity. If it's American, <coughs> Australian, yeah, English, yeah, it doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, it's yeah. this returning. So I, I wanted to hear in your own words, what, what do you think they're doing that is different, not worse, just different to the way Rosenzweig did tshuva? Because um, obviously they're struggling as well to come back. To re- what is different? Because I found that okay. distinction very powerful uh-huh. in the book. They are not wrong. That what the Jewish letters want to do they demand you to be closed into them. They're not wrong. They're the implication of the Jewish life. Being closed. Being narrow-minded. To be a Jew, it means to be narrow-minded. That's what Paul says in the New Testament. That's what Jesus is crying out in the New Testament. And they are right. Paul says, the, 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 it's not the only Paul, it's the Knesia. Says, you're am kshe'orif. You're covered, your eyes are covered. Stubborn. You're stubborn and your eyes are covered. Ecclesia and synagogue, your eyes are covered. You don't see the glory of the Lord. You don't see the glory of the Messiah. You don't see the glory of the world. What you have is Dalid al Dalid Amot shel Alacha. What you have is a Seif Katan. What you have is Tmidim Kesidram. That's what you have. Your eyes are covered, while the eyes of the Knesia see. The glory. Paul says that. Paul understands something very deep. That's being Jew. And he's right. Being a Jew means to be with your eyes covered. Turning your shoulder shoulder and say, I would prefer not to to the Messiah. That's to be a Jew. Not because he's wrong. And not because he's Shekel. I would prefer not to. It's modern times. I would prefer not to. So you're equating modern times with the Messiah. For the sure. Messiah. For sure. Modern times. It's Christian times. Total Christian times. The Jew says, Ani ma'adif shelo. Ha'iti ma'adif shelo. Assimilation and the Mashiach. They go hand in hand. Right. In your words. Right. Paul is not saying nonsense. He understands. The church understands what is Knesset Israel. The Zohar calls Knesset Israel Ulim Tashafirta Delet La'enin 
beautiful uh, 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 girl, beautiful uh, woman, that her eyes are covered. They late la enim and la enaim. She doesn't see. The Zohar, for sure, understands that's Reb Nachman that speaks about the tzaddik that sits in the shadow that he cannot see that O enav kehe that he cannot see far he knows what he's speaking of Nachman But it doesn't mean you cannot struggle with that closing, close, uh, uh, to be a Jew, you can be a Yaakov Katan, meaning that that's your life being closed up, or you can be Israel. What Rosenzweig wanted in his, the, I will answer your question, what Rosenzweig wanted in his Shiva, in his Chazara Layadut, with building up the Beta Midrash Yehudi Achofshi, the Lel House in Frankfurt, is doing two things. First of all, to bring people back to, as the Machzir B'Tshuva, to bring people back to. Jewish signifiers to the Torah to the words but with that with understanding that giving them the ability to confront those signifiers before they will demand them will give them the ability to deal with that Situation of being demanded by uh, 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 those signifiers. One of the beautiful places that it, in the letters of Rosenzweig is his letters with Rudi Hallo, that his, he's his friend from Frankfurt, and he did become Christian, but then he returns with Rosenzweig, or because of Rosenzweig, to Judaism. And I deal with that in the third book. I will say it over here that Rudi Alo asks him, How can I say I, I know that the world was in those in the time of, of the beginning of the 20th century, they knew that it was they didn't know yet that it was the world is a few hundred of million years, but they knew that it wasn't six days and uh, how can I believe in that? more than I believe that Hansel and Gretel are, is a real story. They're both legends. I can relate to it as a very, very deep legend. But not as truth. How can I say it in Shabbat as a dut, a met, as a testimony? If Rosenzweig would have been a Christian, he would have told them, you will see the glory of the war of the Lord. And you will be able, able to give a testimony of the righteousness of the, testi- of the Bible. That the world was... Okay, maybe for you now, it's a legend. But let me tell you, Rudy Hollow, that these signifiers will have power in you. And there will have situation in your life that you will believe that the world was was bo- uh, was uh, 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 created in six days, not because you had your uh, 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 modern uh, 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 mindset. You did a uh, uh, harmony with modern science and with the psukim of Sefer Bereshit, because those psukim have power. What we said. The koch shel otiot, they have power. They will have power on you. And adam ki amut beoil, yeah, that's how it is. You will die in that situation. Your modern Rudi Hello will die in that situation. That he will pick up the koch shel bracha and says, 
But I want to give you tools in that situation not to die totally. To be able to work, to be able to invent a new meaning to that situation of being under the power of, of the world of, of, of six days of creation.